Hi guys, it's Big Al and this is my Motorsport Manager Carita Team as Big Al Sports World. And today we're at Guildford in the United Kingdom for our third race of the season. Now, since you guys were last with me, we have changed our pit crew slightly. We have like sacked a load of people, brought a couple of people in, increased it, got rid of the two guys who made mistakes. One guy's still on the payroll, just about. Um, oh, and that, we have fitted two engines to our cars. So if we just look here, we have now fitted a good engine to Gomez's. Obviously these are still being worked on as well. So these are not 100% engines, but they're be in better condition than the original two engines. So we fitted the good engine to Gomez and the average engine to Faith Anthony. Now we're just finished building uh, two new gearboxes, but there not been any work on them. So at the minute, in 22 days and 35 days after this race, we will have two maxed out perfectly good engines then i'll get them to work on the two gearboxes and as soon as they're maxed out as soon as they're up to about 70 80 percent i'll fit them to the cars and then boom we've got two awesome uh gearboxes i am going to build two new brakes i'm going to do that now before we start the race um, let's build a set of oh bricks so let's build that yep and boom the first of our two new brakes is being being designed for the car so by the end of the by the next race i should have the two gearboxes fit it and then the race after that two sets of new brakes and then we should be rocking and rolling in to push up this table we have also got one new driver oh oh yeah 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 we changed the driver so we got rid of our reserve driver and brought in enzo Fittipaldi, as you can see, he's turned a bit stars with a potential rating of four stars. So he's better than our two main drivers, but at present, I'm not going to race him. I'm going to leave him down here because I'm scouting a whole load of new drivers. Our scouting facility is now finished, and as you can see, we got four other guys down here being scouted at the minute. So as soon as they're finished scouting them, if there's a little gem in them, I'll bring them in and then we'll sack off the current drivers that we got. But I wasn't wasn't planning on changing the driver drivers this year. I was going to let them see out their contracts. And with the scouting we do throughout the year, I'm hoping to find a couple of gems that we can steal at the beginning of next year. So, let's get the run with the racing. Because that's what we're all here for. So, where do we think we're going to finish? 11th and above? 5th and above? 4th and above? Or 2nd and above? Well, we'll go for 11th and above. Again, we're going to lose 2 mil. Ideally, we need second and above. Even then, we're still going to lose money, aren't we? We're never going to be in the green. So, we'll go with 11th and above for 300 grand. Uh, we don't need to fit any parts. It's all done. High-speed cornering. And let's get the race started. Normal, guys. We will pick our two drivers because we want them to get used to the track. Car setup. It's dry today for a change in Great Britain. Makes a change for us. I ain't going to play around with the cars. I'm going to leave them how they are and then check it set them up for the actual race although he looks it looks already like anthony wants his car totally changed so we'll do that for the race let's just get stuck in we're going to simulate the sessions as always so it's quicker for youtube obviously if you guys want to see me do the sessions then let me know in the comments below that's a that's the practice session over as you can see our guys are down 17th and 18th even with the new engines which makes a change we're not bottom 11th and above for 300,000 here at the British Grand Prix. And we will give them... The, hopefully they got wrist trim. Yeah, we got wrist trim. Level 1 and level 2. Excellent. So we'll do this for both drivers. And then we'll go... I'll go through the... Uh, oh! Lightfoot so Super Softs. Excellent. So guys, I'll go through the car setups and that, and we'll come back just before the race. Guys, we've managed to change the car setups. We've set the drivers on full out attack for the first lap. we get six laps of fuel. Tires are due to last between 10 and 13 laps. So obviously, we've only got six laps of fuel. So hopefully, we can only have to do a splash and dash for one of the laps and then change tires for the second lap, second stop. And we will see how we get on. Let's get the race started. Where are we on the grid? That's the question. 
Well, it looks like we're starting quite far down. We're eighth and ninth in the grid. Well, that's quite far down due to your championship position. So I was expecting a bit better than this. All lights are on and it's race time. And we're off. Gomez is down in 10th already. He's already lost positions. Anthony's held on to 7th. There he is. He's trying to battle for 6th. Is that Gomez or is that Anthony? Anthony's up to 6th already. Gomez is in 9th in the green car. There he's battling. He's down to 10th again. Not a good start for Gomez. Where's Anthony? Is he already got a stretch and lead on his counterpart? Anthony's up. He's battling for 5th. The first top five are all over each other here, and Anthony's certainly giving it all. He's against Hubert. Hubert's starting to slowly push away at the minute, and seventh coming back. Ericsson is now back in the battlefield, and oh, Anthony was so, so close. They were side by side for that corner, and now we're finished the first lap. And Anthony may just he's dropped down to seventh, but he's taken Hubert. No, he hasn't. It's all he has. He's taken him up the inside. But at the same time, Aiken went flying through. Oh my word, Eric's is still behind him. And Eric's is trying to go around the outside of him, but he doesn't get free. Anthony, Anthony's hold on the sixth. Can he now pull it away? We'll drop his engine down and his fuel down. Gomez is gone, gone. We'll tell him to drop it all down. Actually, no, we'll make him push because I don't want him to, to lose it. He's got. Ericsson all over his back end. Anthony, can he beat Calderon? Can he get past Calderon? Anthony, no, he cannot. Oh, and Gomez is down to 15th now. So the race is on for Anthony. How far back is Gomez already? Let's go all the way back. Gomez is in a... Just in front of a big massive battle. Whoa, he's got lots of people there. Anthony's just in front of him. Anthony goes down to eighth. As Gomez has now got a little bit of clear air. I'm trying to think for pitch strategy here. I want Anthony to go one extra lap. So we're going to tell him to go and conserve and to go low fuel. Because we're in lap three. Lap four, I reckon Gomez is going to go all out. He's down in 15th. Anthony's dropping down the packing order now because he's conserving his fuel. Because he's going to go an extra lap. Ericsson holding up. Gomez, he's dropped all the way down. As Anthony is now up to... He's now down to 10th. Gomez is just behind in 15th. But Gomez is going to come in before Anthony. Oh, both fuels are uh, looking pretty bad, actually. Someone's got to go an extra lap. Right, push you. Because you're going to come in this lap. We'll put you on a nice set of tyres. We'll fill you right up. How many laps will be left? Okay, park conditions looking good. Uh, we'll, we'll go out to risk it. I want him in and out. So our last lap... I'm expecting to do uh, just a splash and dash for fuel. And he's up to 13th right behind Anthony. And he enters the pits. So we go back on board with Anthony. He's up in 7th at the minute. He's going to pit at the end of this lap. So we'll get him ready. We'll give him a nice set of tyres. We'll fill him right up. And we'll go fast as well. So now what we're going to tell Anthony now to do is go full out attack. Now. For this final lap before he comes in the pits. And he is out in 16th. Go, the gun wash comes out in 17th. Anthony now pushing for the final, this final lap. And he's down to... Is he going to get to 16th? And he does! Gomez is up the inside! What happened? What happened? Why did we go all over to him? Oh, Gomez got 16th. He's not a good clear air. But I want him to uh, conserve his tyres and all the rest of it now. A medium on fuel. <coughs> Lots of people in the pits now. A lot of them went on the soft tyres, on the super softs. 
And so Anthony Gomez is going to go past Anthony. He does indeed. And he's up to 10th. Anthony now comes out. We'll throw him a medium and conserve his tyres. And in three laps time, we will bring Gomez in from 11th. Anthony's up the 8th. Anthony got out in front of his partner. Gomez is now down to 12th. Anthony is up the 8th. He has Schumacher coming up behind him. But can he hold him out? Because he's on, like, conserve his tyres and medium fuel. He's all under pressure. Gomez is still down in 12th. Anthony will need to hold it, but he's lost it already. And Schumacher takes him with ease. But then again, he's on soft tyres. We're on super softs. And he's on... Oh, he's on attack and push. He's on attack and push. Okay, we're the only two... We're the only team on super softs at the minute. So. In two laps, I'll be, what, seven? Eight, lap nine. I will be bringing my drivers in lap nine and lap ten. To see out the rest of this race, and it's all on top. They're only coming in for fuel. I'll uh, conserve the tires. The tires are gonna have to last. We got better tire wear than everybody. Oh, then Gomez, he's going, he's burning for his tire. But at the end of the next lap, night, nine, lap nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'll be five laps left. He gets six laps of fuel. I'm going to tell him to use up his fuel, but keep his tyres. As Anthony dropped down to 10th, Gomez is right behind him, as you can see. He's down to 11th now, Anthony. Gomez is catching him at speed. But Gomez is now pushing his engine. We're still on for sponsor objective. At the end of this lap, is his engine looking bad, is it? Oh my word, yes, okay. At the end of this lap, you're coming into the pits, don't worry. Someone's just had a drive through Pelland, eh? So we're on lap nine, okay. Let's bring him in. He doesn't need tires. Will it be enough laps? Yes. But he's going to have to go full out because we're going to fix his engine. It's going to take a while to fix this engine. So he's going to be coming out on overload on everything. Gomez is now down to 11th. Yeah, don't worry about it. You're coming in the pits at the end of this lap. And he's back up to 10th. And Anthony's up to 9th. Which is great news for us. As he pushes that engine all the way to the pit lane... And now he's going to go high on his engine. Use up some of that lap. There he goes. He's gone past the start and finish line. Let's get him set up. No, no tires. Fill him up to the end. What's his engine like? Because he's got to go. Yeah, he'll be all right. Let's just do it. You're going to pit at the end of this lap. He's going to be a full out attack. As soon as Gomez comes out, he's going on overload and everything. He's dropping down here because of the repair. Which is taking a long, 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 long time. He's done the last nine. Poor Gomez. Absolutely shafted it because of his engine. But I had no choice. It needed to be fixed. There you go. There you go. Full right attack. Go for it, Gomez. All the way to the end of this race. You've got excess fuel. You're going to do it. Anthony's got a nice gap. Fresh air in front of him. But he's going to pit here. So we'll call all the way down to Gomez, who's miles behind. Norris has got an engine. There's a lot of people in the pits here with engine issues. Getting repairs done. So that might give Gomez a chance to pass these guys. If we can get, while they're in the pits, if Gomez can get around this little lane. Come on, Gomez. Faster, son. You're a full out attack. And now, so is going to be Anthony. Right to the end of this race, lad. Just burn it all off. We've got two laps left. Burn it off. Gomez is up to 15th. Yeah, ignore it. 
you're just gonna have to live with it now. Wow, his engine just dropped from from forty percent to thirty four, and just by telling him to go high and hard. But come on, fourteenth has an issue. Who's fourteen? Hubert has an issue. Come on, Gomez, you can do it, son. Where is Anthony? Up in eighth. As he comes through the... There we go. I'll tell you what. Take it easy on your engine, kid. Oh, engine. Sorry. Just pushing your tires. Go. Well, you got excess fuel, so you might as well go high. Just drop back a little. Go high on it all. His tires are going to wear out. Yeah, so time to protect your tires a little. You got plenty of fuel. Just burn it out, Gomez, son. You're down in 15th. Let's see if we can get you up to at least 14th by the end of this race. Yeah, you'll be fine. You've only got two laps left. Come on, Anthony. You're in 8th. Let's see if we can get 7th out of you. Come on, Anthony. Is Gomez catching Hubert? It looks like it is from the uh, speed. I don't know why I'm pointing at the, at the screens for you. As he starts his final lap, Anthony. He's on his final lap. What's his engine like? Will he be able to... Oh, yeah. Let's just go for it, Anthony. Go, go, go. Engine blows, it blows. Come on. John Sullivan, you're on your final lap. Tires go, they go. Go for it, Gomez, kid. Let's see if we can get you up to 15th. Anthony is flying in 8th. Gomez is not far behind, to be fair. I don't care if his tires are overheated. He's just going to have to keep on going. He's hardly any tire left. He's on his last lap. I want to see if he can catch 14th. Come on, Gomez. I don't think he's going to catch him. He's got engine problems as well. Come on, Gomez. you got to catch him. Yeah, it's okay. He's still got enough fuel to get around the, ra around the track. Oh, he's not going to catch him. 14th is in. Gomez finished 15th. Anthony got 8th. Fantastic news. Not a bad result either, finishing in 15th. So we got an 8th and a 15th with new engines. Next is going to be the gearboxes. The reliability in these engines will improve because obviously we've been improving them f during the season, like recently. So our engines will get better and more reliable. At the minute, obviously we had to repair Gomez's new engine, but that's because it only had like 40 odd percent reliability before the race. That will be at max level by the time the next race comes. Then hopefully we'll have the gearboxes done for then or the race after. So in two races this time I want to have new engine, new gearboxes and hopefully two new sets of bricks done and improved for the last like two races of the year so we can finish on a high because we have we need to really push now for next season. Like I mean we're putting loads of money away the whole heap so we really 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 need to push and get this team because next season I want to win this league. Next season I want to win this league. Is that my van? My van alarm was going off. Someone had uh, set it set it off. A little cat was in underneath the wheels and set the the alarm off. So as I was saying, we need to build these cars to be the best cars next season. Because I want to be GP two by the end of next year. I don't want to be in GP three for three seasons. I'll max of two, and then we need to be moving on. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long, 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 long year. So championship looks like that. Eight, uh, fifth, I think he's up the eighth in the champion. No, that can't be a championship. That's just the points results. Okay. Silly me, I was about to get all excited there. So, Anthony's actually up the 10th in the championship. That's really good. Gomez is down in 15th. That's still not bad. They were joint level in the last race, weren't they? If I remember correct. So, that's not bad. There's still not many points between them. Because Gomez could get a better result than Anthony in the next race. And leapfrog him. So, it's all a play for. I like my drivers to be a bit of rivals against each other. A bit of competition. But we're not far off. We're only, what, 23 points off the leaders? So that's not bad. That's not bad. Where are we in the championship? We're due to, they're expecting us to finish bottom. We're sitting eighth in the championship. 53 points from three races. That's not bad. We're well clear of Dams Jr., whoever they are, racing. So that's good enough for me. And hopefully, for the next race, I believe will be Munich. It is Munich in th 31 days' time. Hopefully, we'll have engines fully done and dusted, and we'll be working on our gearboxes so that after the Munich race, we can fit our new gearboxes to the cars and have a fantastic...
fantastic race. So guys, if you enjoyed what you just seen there, hit that thumbs up button so other people can see it. Hit, if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe, smash the like out of that subscribe button. Make sure you look at, watch all our other content as well. we got loads of content on the channel, loads of different series within Football Manager and Motorsport Manager. I have new stuff coming, hopefully in the new year. Um, hopefully we'll have better graphics in the new year too, because I'm going to have my desktop hopefully fixed. So guys, thank you very much for coming and watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Have a good one. All the best now. Thanks. Bye.